Right, so we need to help Holly decide who to dump and who to keep. I like them all. No, that's how you got in this mess. Just go with your heart, Holly. I like them all. Go with your gut, then. I like them all. I'll go with your, you know, erotic zones. I like them all. <laughs> well, I anticipated this, so... I've prepared a useful chart to help Holly make her decision. I didn't have a picture of Curtis as he's quite recent, so I've just drawn him. And in what way is this chart useful? Well, we suggest qualities like kindness, good sense of humour, loyalty. Holly gives them a mark, we add everything up and work out who's won. Oh, it's like a secret boyfriend Olympics I don't even know they're in. So, what makes a good boyfriend? Nice teeth. Intelligence. Treats you like a princess. Has ability to identify birds from their call. Good in bed, but not a pervert. Or well, a bit of a pervert. Perverted in a nice way. Doesn't dance like a wanker. Doesn't criticise your body, ever. Even if you've eaten three tonnes of chocolate and your gut's like a big white balloon full of porridge. Good fighting skills. Nice kisser. Calm down, I can't write that fast. Ability to write fast. That's a really useful attribute. Oh, it's going to take bare long. I anticipated that. So, I prepared popcorn to help us through. This is salt. This is sweet. I don't know which I love more, salt or sweet. I'm having both. Salt for main, sweet for dessert. Oh, both at the same time. Popcorn cocktail. Mmm, is this already a thing? Or have I just invented an incredible new recipe? <laughs> Eat up their veg. Nice nose like a puppy. Honestly, nice for my family. Clean, well-shaped ears. Photogenic. Strong moral compass. Not a one minute man. Organised. Heart of gold. Good sense of direction. Can squat more than me. The shiny pubes. Holly, do you promise to do exactly what the chart tells you to do? Of course I will. It's too stressful having three blocks on a goal. Plus, my fanny can't take the pace. Right. All I need to do is add all this up and work out exactly how many points each boy scored. It's going to take ages. It's interesting how you haven't scored any boy 10 out of 10 for anything. The highest is Tonka's 9 for his ability to hold his breath underwater. Joint with Connor's 9 for pet care. He loves that salamander. You have to think someone was pretty fucking amazing to give him a 10, right? 